Hey everyone, Will here, the uh, yard sale survivalist, uh, with my flea market finds for May 19th and 20th, uh, 2012. Feeling a lot better this week. Uh, antibiotics kicked in and uh, feeling a whole lot better than last week. Uh, uh, found a few things in uh, kind of an average uh, week of finds. Uh, can't hit a home run every week, I guess. But uh, still found some decent stuff. Uh, let's take a look. First up, got a uh, mongoose bike that needs uh, needs some tubes for the uh, tires. But uh, other than that, I mean, this thing is like brand new looking. Um, Five dollars. Can't go wrong there. Got some artwork. And funny thing about this artwork, this was at a uh, auction I went to about a month ago uh, signed John Murphy both of them and uh, this guy John Murphy he uh, he did portraits really well uh, this was in a lot at the auction and I never hung around um, to uh, bid on them but he did portraits really well you can see his his landscapes uh, leave a little something to be desired but uh, nice old oil paintings. Um, that one's dated 55. So I'm assuming that's 1955. Uh, kind of neat looking. Uh, paid $4 a piece for these. Not worth a whole lot. Um, I just thought it was neat that I uh, ran back into them again. It's funny how you keep seeing some seeing things sometimes uh, they keep like recirculating uh, my son got himself a, a little folding chair he paid three dollars for that got a piece of uh, Roseville uh, the thing about Roseville is they uh, um, they counterfeit this stuff a lot and uh, I got a feeling that this is uh, fake um, the way it, the way it's written but on the other hand you got like the the black marks there and it's got a chip here and there so still unsure but it was only a dollar um, unless you deal with Roseville a lot and I don't uh, that's really the best way to tell um, between a uh, um, a fake and re the real thing. Um, but I uh, have to do a little more research into that. Got a nice piece of ruby glass here. As uh, my neighbor goes by with a lawnmower. Um, Royal Ruby Anchor Glass, uh, Anchor Hocking. Uh, nice little decorative piece. Like I said, it's really good that it still has the uh, sticker on it. Paid $5 for this. Um, I like white stuff. This is a, this is a mark I haven't seen before. Uh, Watt wear. Uh, nice old mixing bowl. Uh, it's got some uh, crazing in the uh, glaze, but uh, nothing major. It's a nice solid old bowl. I paid uh, 10 for this one. But uh, I like that mark. I'm going to have to do a little research into uh, the way Watt marked their stuff. Got a nice uh, fly reel, fly fishing reel. Still in the box. Uh, original price was 80. They had it for 50, uh, 20. I got it for 15. Um, it's been used. It's not brand new, but uh, I think that's an easy uh, 30, 35 dollars, maybe 40. Who knows? Over here, I love this thing. Um, nice. Uh, it's pottery. Uh, really well made. Um, and it's a little bit of a mark there. It was like a number on 57 on the bottom, but uh, 
got crazing on the inside uh, but overall pretty good condition I paid uh, ten dollars for this I just it's a good color that green very collectible and uh, just don't uh, see these very often in the pottery. You see them in glass, but just not the uh, pottery. I got a bag of uh, 30-06 shells. I don't know how many is in there, but uh, 20 bucks. Um, uh, pretty good deal for uh, ammunition. Um, looks like it's uh, surplus stuff, but. Uh, not a bad price got a uh, trout fishing net a lot of people will buy these and uh, just hang them up this one is made by uh, Cortland not worth a whole lot of money probably about uh, 15 or 20 I paid 8 for that might have overpaid so uh, these shovels were a good deal uh, got them both for three dollars, so a dollar fifty a piece. This is a nice um, U.S. made by Ames. There's a 1945 date in there somewhere. This one's interesting. It's not a U.S. shovel, I don't think. It's dated. It looks like 1915. Um, I like to think that's a bullet hole, but I think somebody just drilled that in there to, uh, to hang it up. But, really well made. Uh, thinking this might be German. I don't know. I, uh, gotta do a little more research into it. But for $1.50, it's definitely a, uh, one of my more favorite deals for the weekend. And I got a, uh, ammo bandolier belt really neat it's got the uh, made out of leather uh, you know most of them you see are uh, canvas this isn't US um, I know that uh, Swiss kind of looks uh, like uh, Swiss Swedish um, I haven't really looked it over for uh, markings uh, guy had uh, 30 on this got it for 20 it's probably worth uh, somewhere around 40, 45, I would say. It's got a nice look to it. There's a, some kind of mark there. But uh, I have to do a little more research. Probably end up keeping that for myself. Nice little decorative item. My uh, wife's got a couple things for herself. A little lotion or soap thing uh, hot for a buck a couple nice wood uh, paddles this one's Sawyer woodworking and uh, this one is Clement um, nice lightweight paddles well made. I paid uh, eight a piece on these. Uh, chances are somebody will just buy them for decoration. Uh, probably uh, probably get about twenty, thirty dollars a piece for them. This uh, bookcase was uh, three dollars, and it's uh, really built well. Um, Probably easy uh, $20, $30 on uh, Craigslist. Got a bag of uh, crystals to uh, hang on the uh, lights. These were $4. Um, these sell for a few dollars a piece, um, being glass. Uh, so it's, I don't know how many is there. Looks like easy 20 Uh couple watches paid five dollars a piece for these got a uh, grill in here and a uh, Benrus pretty nice little cameo paid three dollars for them 
not uh, the most, uh, not the best looking cameo, but uh, it's not gold on the outside, but for three dollars, looked interesting, so I bought it. Um, it says uh, product of Pepsi Cola Company. Ever, Everest sparkling water. Uh, I haven't looked it up yet. Probably pretty common, but uh, got it for a buck, so we'll see how that does. When I first saw this, I thought it was uh, Abe Lincoln, but. No, it's not him. It's whatever that signature is. Uh, neat old picture. I'm trying to figure out who that guy is. J.P. Mickersham. Uh, he was $2 uh, for the picture and frame. Got this whole bag of uh, religious medals. And uh, there's a lot of silver in here. I paid ten dollars for the bag. I went through and pulled a few of them out. I saw this and I thought I had something there for a split second but uh, it's just a uh, if I can pick it up just a uh, commemorative uh, piece. Um, but like this one here it's a nice little uh, uh, metal and mark sterling so uh, gotta pick through these pick out the sterling ones um, problem is a lot of them been carried and that uh, sterling marks worn off so anything that looks like uh, silver uh, pick them out put them to the side uh, see what they bring but uh, I don't know how many of those metals are in there it must be a good 50 in there got a nice stained glass lamp uh, four dollars. Uh, it's got the uh, stuff to hang it up inside there. Uh, that's an easy uh, 2025 on Craigslist. Uh, my youngest son got himself a uh, army jacket. It was two dollars, but it's pretty beat. So <laughs> tried to talk him out of that one, but he wanted it. And he's got his own money to spend. Couple uh, wooden skis. Uh, these were. Uh, eight dollars a piece um, should be easy sell around here on Craigslist made by uh, Cypress Gardens um, gotta look them up but uh, I think they should bring an easy uh, 30 40 dollars piece and my last find I went to a uh, church sale and uh, this lawnmower, that bookcase was uh, sitting off to the side. And uh, I just had to ask about it. I asked him, I said, how much you want for the uh, lawnmower bookcase? Well, he said, $3 on the bookcase and $2 on the lawnmower. I guess they figured nobody would even ask about them. But uh, this thing's neat looking. Um, didn't expect it to run, but I plugged it in. And uh, it runs pretty good. Runs nice and smooth. Got some uh, tiny blades up underneath there. Uh, did a search on uh, eBay, and uh, there's three of them on eBay right now. One of them, they're all, they all have buy it nows. One of them's got a price of 200 buy it now. Another one's got 300 buy it now, and another guy's trying to get 500 for one. Got a nice uh, retro look to it. Electric mower. There can't be too many of these that uh, that are still around, but uh, of course, buy it now price is uh, you know that's you can't uh, use that as a guide for uh, your pricing, but uh, and it's not a good eBay item. It's too big to uh, ship, but uh, I think I'll definitely do well on this, uh, especially since it uh, still runs. Sunbeam. 18-inch uh, twin blade rotary. So there we go. Not uh, not the best week, but I've had quite a run of uh, good finds lately. So um, got off to a good start yesterday at the yard sales, and uh, but this morning it's like just couldn't find anything. But that's the way it goes sometimes. 
So uh, until next week, this is Will, the yard sale survivalist. Um, we'll see what we can uh, dig up uh, next week.